welcome back to everybody's looking for tomatoes why do we call our channel our family channel everybody looking for tomatoes is everybody's looking for happiness and contentment in their current state of life i know i know it's too long for you to say but this is our name and for short we are abbreviated as elf team e l f t elf team subscribe and be the elf t gang i don't know it's just like a youtuber thing to say so the the elf t gang so please subscribe like share ring the post notification bell button to all and comment down below this is a family channel and we are a hispanic family from new york and we are just basically vlogging our lives and sharing with you all what we like what we don't like and our experiences in our daily life um if you are interested in becoming the lt gang come jump aboard um we love you all we're always welcoming with for new friends and yeah so i just got out of work so i'm just like rambling because my mind is not catching up with what I'm saying, but I just came out of work. I worked the night shift. And um, yeah, I'm here at the blood work place because we're finally doing Zoe's three year blood work. Finally, I know we're horrible parents, but it's her appointment, her doctor's appointment was supposed to be April 1st. We were supposed to get the blood work a week before April 1st. But being that COVID hit and the doctors never got back to us to reschedule her appointment, now they're saying, oh, you should have called. It was a two month waiting list and blah, blah, blah. But now you could just call and make an appointment, you know, because we're all up, catched up to date with everybody else or whatnot. So I was like, let's just do her blood work. And I am fearful because last year for her two-year-old blood work oh my goodness it was a handful it really was because she was she is such a strong little girl she probably weighs like 20 pounds more now or 15 pounds more now but when she was 15 or 20 pounds lighter last year to do her blood work oh my goodness like I tried to do it by myself and I was unsuccessful the first time. So then I told my husband, let's go and do it together because it's a two man thing. Like she is such a strong little girl and she is not for that needle. So we did it and it took a four man job. Myself, I had her on my lap and I was holding her down. She was not doing it. She was kicking moving her legs like i don't know if any of you parents experience this with your toddlers but she seriously looked like she was possessed <laughs> like, <laughs> she was a strong possessed little girl like she did not want to get any blood drawn out so i had to hold her and hold her arm down so i had her hold and i held her arm down then her father was holding her legs because she was kicking like she she gave me a couple of bruises that day and she was throwing her head back so she caught me in my chin real good one time and so then the um lab um specialist um who was drawing her blood called for backup so she was holding her head like you know like still and she was Boy, she was moving, moving, and then she, thank God, thank God, oh my God, thank God that the lab work lady, like, she was so good. She got it in an instant. She got her blood in an instant, and that was it. And that was it. Like, she, Zoe stopped crying, so everything went back to to normal. So I'm dreading today. Hopefully, she's a little better because she's a little older and you know i just hope it turns out good i just don't really want to manhandle her <laughs> i feel bad because she is so tiny but she is so strong like 
Like that little girl, she is strong. Like I wish New I could find a place in New York to put her in wrestling because I think she'll do an awesome, an awesome job wrestling. That little girl could wrestle. So, so yeah, we'll see. I'm waiting for her, for her father. I came from work, so we're meeting basically halfway. So hubby just got out. I guess I just got a text message. He just got out from the house and he's on his way over here so i'm just waiting 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 patiently for this to happen oh my goodness like i'm even getting scared i hate needles i really do i i don't know what it is i was dramatized when i was younger i had food poisoning in colombia when i was like seven years old and the needles were like as big as knives like i don't know it, it looked like a a knife straw type like it wasn't even like how they the, right now the butterfly needles they weren't that tiny they were seriously like they look like straws like with a little tip that's how it looked and it poked such a big hole in my arm then i had ivs i was so dramatized when i was in colombia i was seven years old with food poisoning we, st we, we were traveling four hours from one town to another town to visit family and we took a pit stop and I was eating all the delicious meats like the sachicha, the, the, um, what else? Um, all the meats. I was eating all the meats, chicharron, sachicha, um, sausages, Colombian sausages. I'm forgetting how to say it right now that I don't sleep at night have <laughs> memory issues right now but i have food that was it is food poisoning like i was literally sick i would go to colombia for a month and i was sick for two weeks like i could not eat anything i would lose weight i lost so much weight because i could, would not eat anything it was just gatorade and pedia like for me but yeah ever since then i got scarred i got so scared Oh, I hate needles. I do. I really do. <laughs> Hence, I have one tattoo. And this is the tattoo I have. That is an arrow. I got that with my bridal party one night. when We went out to eat all together. And it was the winter. And she, um, we all were getting um, arrows. And I really wanted an arrow, but I really wanted to say, follow your heart. But as soon as it hit me by the beginning of the arrow, I seriously passed out. I passed out that they gave me a glucose pill. I felt so hot. I had to go outside without a jacket. It was like nine degrees, I think, outside. And I was just intaking all that cold, fresh air. And then they gave me a glucose pill and they put me down to sleep and I was sleeping it off a little bit, relaxing. And then I went back at it. That's why it looks a little crooked because I couldn't, I couldn't stay still. And I don't know why I put it right there. I really don't know because every time I move my arm, it just points in different <laughs> directions. But that is my only tattoo. And I passed out. That was funny. That was funny. Well, let me stop ranting and let's get on with this, you know, with this process because I'm getting nervous right now. <laughs> I'm getting nervous for Zoe and she's not even here. She don't even know what the hell was about to happen. But, um, so yeah, so stay tuned. We're probably going to go out to eat at this cool place. I'm not going to let, I'm not going to tell you. So you're going to have to keep watching and we'll probably get her a costume. We should, right? We should get her a costume. But anyway, stay tuned. We love you guys. Zoe's sad. She don't want to go see the doctor. Oh, 12 Why are you sad, mama? Because I don't want to. Why? Because I'm not sick. No, but you got to get checked out once a year. No. Yeah. No. Yes, baby. No. <laughs> I don't want to. So good today. Look at her. She got her shots. I mean, her blood drawn. <laughs> oh, look at her. Did it hurt, Mama? No. It was good. You were good. You were strong, right? Yeah. Aww. Oh. 
Oh my goodness. I am so, so proud of Zoe. Like you guys don't even know how proud I am. Like that little girl is so strong compared to last year. Last year, oh my goodness. Last year, last year, it was four of us that had to hold her down. This year, she just stood there on her own will in, and she had three tubes drawn and she did so good. I'm so proud of her. We're gonna go out to eat right now and um, um, have some breakfast because obviously I'm starving. But I'm gonna follow Hubby because um, he knows the spot. We were supposed to go somewhere else, but they open at 12 o'clock and I'm very disappointed. So we found a spot. I hope we like it. <laughs> yeah, she went to it's called something down. I'm gonna eat. Whiskey down. Whiskey down. It's called whiskey down. I'm not drinking whiskey this early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so Zoe so got her sh her blood drawn. I do a good job. Yes, yes you did. did. You did an excellent job. You're a big girl. The needle make my my blood really good. Yeah, you I'm look strong. She didn't move, she didn't flinch, she didn't make a face. She just... No, she did not. I think I think she was more shocked at like what's going on right now. Like, yeah. Hey, me, <laughs> she was like, what is she doing? What is she grabbing? But but I'm glad that that girl went and grabbed somebody who was, yeah. who was better. Because yeah. she... that girl was not no, confident. No, the first girl, no. she was not confident whatsoever. So she grabbed the lady who had more experience. Even she couldn't oh, get it. Oh, the first try because our veins are very tiny well i think my veins get scared and your veins are tiny yeah, oh. paper some wiki sticks and on a creative toy to and crayons which one you want the toy or the crayons It's okay, thank you so much. They're silly stickers. Okay. Interesting. Hi, Zoe. This is Zoe's <laughs> I made a spider. Uh, you made a spider? Yeah, it's a cricket. It's a cricket. Oh, cool. Oh. Look at all those pieces. I make a rainbow cricket. So, an alligator's green and an elephant's blue? Hey, look, Mom. Good job. I made it. I'm making this something. I'm doing the TikTok thingy. So don't mind me. <laughs> I just got out of the shower, um, washed my face, and I kind of started touching my face yesterday. So I put on some ointment to cure um, what I messed up. But anyways, I took a shower. We came back home from eating brunch and um yeah so i try to do the best we try to do the best as that we can when i'm at work on the weekends so i worked we took her to draw blood today we took zoe to draw blood today and we had a delicious brunch we had a great time and it's so nice to go out in public especially with zozo because she has such a big personality we had like a couple come up to us and say oh my gosh she is so adorable and we, I love that. We love that because not a lot of kids are very outgoing. I know I wasn't when I was a kid. So when I see her, I'm like, yes, girl, go be that person, you know. But anyways, I'm going to relax, dry my hair, relax. And I have to go back into work tonight. So yeah, so I'm just gonna relax with my little family, probably take a cat nap and go back to work tonight so yeah hubby's probably watching some game or something and zozo is on her phone and probably gonna do some of her workbook but yeah so it's relaxation time i hope you enjoyed this video you know it's it's always um my pleasure to bring you along into our home our family 
because I love everybody. I have so so much love for everybody. So such a big heart that I don't mind sharing and I don't mind discussing. So if you have any topics, I will leave in the description below in my email. And if you want us to talk about a topic or something, if you need any help, advice, please um, let us know your situation via email and we'll answer you in a future video. Till next time, we love you guys. Bye.